Hello, I'm Rebecca Flaherty and we're back in our geometric pattern tutorials and this week we're going to be making this cute daisy checker pattern here. You don't need to be able to draw to make this pattern as we're going to be making it all with simple shapes and we won't even be using the brush for most of it. If you're familiar with Procreate, know how pattern repeats work and are familiar with using things like snapping, symmetry and transforming, this should be an easy tutorial to follow along with. However, if you're new to patterns and Procreate, you might find it a bit tricky, but if you follow along step by step, you will end up with a pattern the same as this at the end. So let's get started. This canvas here is 12 inches or 3,600 pixels square, and it's 300 DPI. I'm gonna start by tapping on this layer here, I'm choosing color, we'll go for this blue color, and I'm gonna tap on the layer and I'm gonna fill it. Now I'm gonna add a layer above this. I'm gonna grab an orange color, and I'm gonna draw a circle in the middle. I'm going to use the hard airbrush from the procreate set here and what i'm going to do is draw a daisy inside this box so to get a perfect circle draw a circle shape hold for a bit tap with my finger lift up the brush and that will then be a perfect circle what i want to do now is center this on the canvas i'm going to drag this into the middle i've got snapping and magnetics on there and then when you get it into the middle you should have those orange lines crossing like that now i'm going to fill this with a colour. I'm going to add a layer in between these two and I'm going to draw some daisy petals on this one. I'm going to go to my drawing guide. So tap on the spanner, we're going to turn the drawing guide on. I want to edit the drawing guide and turn symmetry on and I want radial symmetry for this one. We also want to have assisted drawing toggle there. Then we can tap done. I'm going to grab a white colour now and I'm going to draw some petals on this daisy and actually I'm going to drag this layer above there so that we can see where we're drawing from. So I want to draw an oval shape. I'm just going to go like this and then hold and then that's going to snap to a nice daisy shape for me there. Then I'm going to fill all of these, duplicate the layer, tap to transform and I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees like that. Then I can pinch those two together and put them underneath the middle there. So that's our daisy and our box drawn. I'm gonna put all three of these into a group. So I'm swiping to the right on all of those to mark them, and then I'm gonna tap on group. And I want to duplicate this group, and I'm gonna tap on this daisy here, and I'm gonna to tap to transform. I wanna tap on the green node, and I wanna rotate it 22.5 degrees, so that this has a slightly different angle to it, and then we can tap up here to set that. So we've got this daisy here with that layer as the petals, and then we've got this one here with a slightly different layout. Now we can start placing these around the canvas. So with this whole group selected, I'm gonna to tap to transform, tap on the node, and leave this constrained, so you want this chain blue, and we're just gonna type in 900 pixels. And that's gonna change the size of that whole group to 900 pixels square. We can tap off that and make sure that that's snapped into the corner there. I'm going to go and change the drawing guide so we'll go to edit drawing guide and we want it in a 2d grid and you want to have your grid size at 900 pixels you can change this to all kinds of different dimensions we want ours at 900. so then when we zoom in to this part here we can check that that's right in the corner where it should be so now what we want to do is make the other daisy also that size so we'll turn this group on um, I'm going to make the base colour a different one, so we'll just grab the yellow and tap to fill this layer. And then we can, with the whole group selected, tap to transform. I've got my interpolation method at by cubic, by the way, in case you're wondering for this. Um, I'm going to tap on the box up here and again make this 900 pixels. And what we want to do is use snapping to snap it to the edge of the box we just drew. So if you drag it along slowly, you'll see this will snap to the top it will snap to the middle and it will also be snapped to the edge of that box. We tap to set that. We can zoom in and check that those are perfectly butted up against each other there, which they are. And then what we want to do is repeat this one down here. So we're going to duplicate this group and snap it into position down here. And you'll see that's snapped to the middle, it's snapped to the edge, and it's also going to be butted up against those. And again, we can zoom in to check that. So now we want to bring this blue one over to there. 
and make it a different colour. So we'll duplicate our blue one, tap to transform and we want to snap it to here. So we'll just bring it over there and you'll see it's snapped to the middle, to the top edge and it's also going to be lined up in there. I'm going to change the colour of this one. So we need to alpha lock this layer because it's not filling the whole layer now and then we can fill that. Then we can grab the whole group, duplicate that and we're going to snap it into this box. So you want to see orange lines going there so that this, you know, this corner is snapped perfectly into the middle. Then we can duplicate that again and put it down there. So we'll see an orange line along the middle, along the edge, and then that's snapped into place. You can always zoom in here just to double check that each time. And then the next one we want to put here is a copy of this yellow one. So our flowers are alternating. So we've got one pointing up and then the diagonal one in the middle. So we want to duplicate this blue one again. Let's alpha lock this blue layer. And we'll make this one pink. the group, tap to transform and then we're going to put this one over in this corner here and you'll see we've got those orange lines there so that you know that's snapped into place and then what we want to do is duplicate and snap this one into these boxes down here Always zooming in to make sure that that's snapped properly there. And then this next line is going to be made up with the blue box. So we duplicate that one. Bring him over here. Always looking for those orange lines there. There we've got those orange lines. If you find that you start to run out of layers at any point, as long as you keep the original, um, so it would be this one here and this one there, as long as you keep an original copy of those, you can flatten the rest as you go. So these pink ones, I know I'm not going to need to put any more pink ones in there again, so I can flatten those at this point. I've done all of the blue ones, so I could flatten those three. I'm going to leave this one intact because I might need to go back to that one. Um, and then the yellows we need to work on now. So let's duplicate this one and put that one down here. And then we'll just duplicate those into those spaces. So then all I need to do now is bring one of these green ones down into the corner. There we go. And then you can just, as one final check, just zoom in and make sure that everything is all nicely lined up there. So that is our daisy checkerboard pattern made. We can now test this in repeat and see how it looks in a smaller scale. So I'm going to swipe down with three fingers to copy all. I'm going to turn off the grid actually at this point. And then I'm going to come up to the top, swipe down again with three fingers and tap paste. And that's pasted a flattened version for everything. What I'm going to do is group all of these together. Put them in one group and then I can turn that whole thing off. So we've got this on one flattened layer now. And as I said before, if you need to flatten some of these layers as you're working, if you're running out of layers, you can do that. Just make sure you've got one copy of each of those intact to go back to if you want to. So let's put this into repeat now. So on this layer that we've pasted in, we'll tap up here to transform and we'll snap it up here to the middle until that says 1800 pixels. Duplicate that, drag that over here, pinch those two together, duplicate and drag those down to the bottom. At this point we can switch the background colour to black and zoom in just to make sure there's no gaps in there which that looks it's looking okay. And that is our pattern in repeat. Thank you for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this and that you love this pattern as much as I do. I love these happy daisies and the fun colours here. If you have a go at this pattern don't forget to share it on Instagram and tag me at Becky Flaherty so I can see it and share it in my stories. If you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube for pattern tutorials like this every week. You can see more of my art on Instagram. 
And if you want to see some more in-depth courses from me, you can find those over on Skillshare. If you're not already on Skillshare and sign up using the link below, you'll get 30 days for free. Have fun, stay creative, and I will see you next time. No, that's not supposed to be there, is it? That's green.